Perfect. Um, so yeah, I, today I'm here to talk um, a bit more about these op the opportunities we have um, at Sellafield Limited, and that's for um, student placements, whether that's summer or year-long placements, and for graduate opportunities. So that's that's across the disciplines as well, across the subject. Um, if so, th the way I thought of doing this session um, was if people want to ask questions, um, fire them into the live Q and A uh, as we go along. And if it's something that's particularly relevant to a certain slide, I'll pick it off as we go along. Um, if other, other, otherwise, we can come back to those kind of questions at the end. Um, and ho hopefully, I'll, I'll try my best and hope to answer as many questions as I can. Uh, yeah, next slide, please. Um, so a lot of people haven't heard of Sellafield before. Um, so I thought I'd go into a bit about what we actually do. So Sellafield uh, Limited has been the the centre point for the nuclear industry in the UK for uh, since since the fifties, sixties, really. Um, it was the site in which um, the the UK government decided to build to try and make the UK's um, nuclear um, weapons program. So that that was what it was initially set up as. Um, that was that was during the Cold War. Um, then after that, it kind of developed into a site in which we realized we could make nuclear power as a byproduct of making nuclear weapons. So the nuclear weapons program was stopped and Sellafield went into more of a nuclear research in, into nuclear power and nuclear materials. Um, so we had the first ever um, commercial nuclear reactor on the site. Um, and since then, we've had many different types of reactors going up to the advanced gas cooled reactor which which was um at the forefront of development um, and it's, it's still one of the most advanced reactors today even if it's not been commercially adopted um, so at the moment we don't do much of that anymore because that side has kind of been developed by, by a lot of companies which um, deliver nuclear reactors across the world to different countries so our main goal now is to is, is an environmental mission it's to clean up the legacy of all of these radioactive facilities that we've had over the past um 60 70 years um so as you can imagine it's a, hu it's a huge challenge and um there's so many different facilities in different states with different nuclear materials on them it requires um a broad range of graduates from engineering graduates um to legal graduates, to scientists, uh, material scientists, ev like e almost everything you can think of, even architects at the moment. So um, it's it's a big challenge going forward to clean up this site and make it safe for future generations. Uh, yeah, if we go on to the next slide. So the, the main site, which you saw on the slide before, um, is based up in Cumbria, which is up in the Lake District. Um, that's where all these operations have happened over the years and all of when people say Sellafield that's generally where they mean um, so we have a lot of our graduates and placement students going to that um, area of the UK in addition to that then we have design offices um, which is where I'm based at the moment um, which is down near Manchester it's in a place called Warrington um, and that's where a lot of the design work happens for Sellafield. So a lot of the big projects going forward into the future get designed by engineers um, down in Warrington and then delivered up on the Sellafield site. So if you aren't quite committed to um, moving miles away, living in the middle of nowhere up in the Lake District yet, there's always the option of coming down to uh, coming down to Manchester. Yeah, next slide, please. Um, so I just want to try something here. So if, if anyone can um, put in, so what, what sort of disciplines um, am I talking to here? What sort of degree subjects are people studying? If you can just drop them in the Q&A box, potentially. Um, give, give this a go, just so I know who, uh, who I'm targeting. Might work, might not. What have we got here? Okay, so we've got some, yeah, we've got some architects in there. Um, so I've, I've actually found out 
in the past um, week or so that we started an architecture grad scheme. Um, this is something fairly new to Sellafield, um, as it's not something that you tra traditionally associate with us. Um, all I can really say at the moment about that is that um, we have a lot of civil engineers that get sort of grouped into architects, so they sort of deliver projects together. And architects would generally go to um, supporting civil engineers and working with civil engineers on a lot of the new build, um, new build facilities. If if anyone's interested, um, I will leave my email address at the end of this session, um, and I can get back to you with a bit more information on that on that kind of grad scheme. So I'm not really sure about that, um, as I, I'm not as familiar with that as I am with the other the other schemes. Um, okay, so. We offer, yeah, so we offer industrial placements as well. Um, and the, these typically um, run after your third year of university, um, before going into fourth year, for, for engineering anyway, or before your final year of university. Um, and they are either a year long or summer placements. So the, the current ones we've got for industrial placements, which is the year long placements, are these ones on the slide here. Um, so if there are any um, <clears throat> if there are any questions about any of those specific disciplines and what what they do, just drop them into the questions box. Um, <clears throat> so the, the one I can speak about most really is if we've got any engineers here, um, is the engineering design industrial placement, because that's what I went into after my third year of university. Um, so the the engineering design industrial placement um, is a year long placement. You end up working um, usually for a process responsible engineer, which is someone who generally leads an area of a project. Um, so that usually means that you get quite a lot of responsibility quite quickly with the industrial placement. Um, obviously, there's people there to make sure that you're doing the right thing. They're not going to trust you with nuclear material without giving it a check straight off. Um, but also, it means that you get really valuable work. It's not one of these schemes where um, you get given work just for the sake of it. All, all the work that you develop as an industrial placement student goes towards delivering something on the Sellafield site. Um, so I was based up in Cumbria for mine, um, which was, it was a good year living in the Lake District. I had quite a lot of experience with um, like the technical side of things. So a lot of the, the kind of more scientific aspects of what goes on at Sellafield, like a lot of the research um, into nuclear materials um and then i moved down to warrington as part of the uh, graduate scheme then so yeah if we go on to the next slide yeah so in, in addition to the 12 month um placements we do also offer summer placements which are typically between i think they're, they're between four to eight weeks over the summer um i'll have to i'll have to check that on that for people um but gen generally, this gives you sort of a, a taster of what um, what life's like at Sellafield. For, for people that aren't really wanting to commit to a 12-month industrial placement, um, there's, there's a certain number of opportunities in summer placements that might give you sort of an introduction to things in a shorter amount of time. Um, so with, with that, um, there's not particularly a preference as to whether we recruit summer placements over industrial placements or vice versa um, it all depends on how, how you get on on your placement as to whether a, a job is offered afterwards um, obviously industrial placements it does give you a lot more of a, of a breadth of experience across um, across what we do at Sellafield um, so so you, you're more informed about coming back as a graduate anyway but but there's not nothing to say that um, you won't get a graduate job as a summer placement yeah, next slide, please. So yeah, a lot, a lot of our um, summer placements and industrial placements do come back as graduates at Sellafield. So I know um, with process engineering anyway, we will pretty much exclusively recruit from um, industrial placement students. That's mostly because all our industrial placements want to come back after a year and we only offer the same amount of industrial placements We, we, we don't offer many more um, industrial placement opportunities than we do graduate roles. So it is expected that if an industrial placement student does well, um, 
there will be a gradual It's not. Um, yeah, no, yeah, that's fine. Um, so, if yeah, if anyone wants to talk about the individual sort of um, professions that we we have um, on that list, um, also save save the question for the end on that one, and I'll um, I'll come back to them. So, the, um, generally, as a as a graduate scheme, it's uh, fixed at two years you are assessed every six months throughout that two years to make sure that you're keeping up to um the the sort of standards that the company want you to meet um so that'll be in terms of mo mostly that's in terms of making sure that you're getting the experience that will develop you into a um a, a competent engineer or a competent um scientist or whatever discipline you've kind of gone into um some of these graduate scheme roles like the design role that i've been on aren't um they're, they're quite rigid with the way that they're set out so every six months i'll do a placement in a different a different part of the business um, which then gives me experience across um mul multiple different um, projects that are going on at sellerfield um so for example i've worked on things such as um emptying or coming up with schemes from facilities that are 40, 50 years old and make that waste safe. So, which comes with all the challenges of you can't go anywhere near it. You can't, um, you've got to keep your distance from it. You've got to remotely operate machinery and equipment um, all, all the way down to uh, other, other placements that I've had, such as um, running the utilities um, engineering side of things on, on the Sellafield site. So as you can imagine, the Sellafield site's got um, as many people as a small town would have. So we also need the same services that a town has. So that's um, wastewater treatment. We have domestic water, so drinking water. And we also need water for cooling the radioactive waste. Um, so in, in much the same way that you'd get experience in, um, in other industries like utility industries, um, I've had that experience for the Sellafield site. So you can you can get a big a, a large breadth of experience um, while staying at the same company. Uh, yeah, next slide, please. Yeah, so this is um, what I was saying about the industrial placement scheme is that we don't give industrial placement students work that's not valuable to us. It's not a case of um, industrial placement students coming and just practicing what they've learned in uni in a different in a different environment, it's it's work that we really do need doing, and it's appropriate for an industrial placement student to pick up. Um, so even even if you do an industrial placement scheme with us and decide you don't want to come back to Sellafield or you you're thinking about um, going elsewhere, it is really valuable um, opportunities for work on our industrial placement scheme that a lot a lot of other places that are smaller can't offer the same the range. Um, like I said, uh, the, the industrial placement schemes are linked with our graduate scheme. So if someone does well on an industrial placement scheme, they generally get preference over um, people being recruited from outside the company. So it's quite nice going into fourth year of university after finishing industrial placement scheme already sitting on a job offer. It means you don't have to do the, the frantic running around and stressing trying to find a job when um, when you when you're in your last year of uni trying to deal with everything else as well. Um, so we've we've recruited, I know a lot of companies have um, stopped recruiting this year, or put pauses on recruitment this year, um, but we've carried on with our industrial placement schemes. We've carried on with our graduate recruitment. Um, there's, there's been no change to ours really, other, other than the fact that people are starting to work from home and laptops have been sent out for them to work from. But other than that, we've still recruited industrial placement students. Um, and it should and it should be that um, they can have the same experience as they would in the office. It'll be slightly different, but the, the same uh, value of experience. Um, yeah, so the, the salary range there is sort of in line with the rest of um, industrial placements. And yeah, as a summer placement, that's then pro routed to however long you end up working for. So it's the same salary, but for six weeks. Um, and then quite quite a generous holiday allowance, 25 and a half days a year. 
Um, yeah, next slide, please. Yeah, so if anyone's interested in applying, um, you, you can just Google industrial placement scheme uh, for Sellafield. That would also come up with something. But if you visit the search and apply page um, on the careers website, which is down there, um, you'll find out more information about the about the scheme. Um, the the application process is generally it, it differs depending on what discipline you go for, um, but and and which university you come from. Um, but generally, it's an aptitude test, um, like the, the standard aptitude tests that everyone sort of goes through, followed by a telephone interview um, with one of our senior engineers or senior of that discipline, and then video interviews afterwards, um, and then offers are sent out after that. Uh, yes, next slide, please. Yeah, so... Um, most of our graduate scheme places, like I said, are filled with industrial placement students, um, but you can still apply for graduate schemes if you think, I really wish I'd taken that opportunity a few years ago. There are still graduate schemes going um, for people who haven't done industrial placement with us. So it's just the same thing as before. If you just look on the Sellafield Careers website, you can quite likely um, find graduate roles that are still open. Um, so, yeah, well, generally for graduate schemes, we want people who've graduated within the last three years um, and have achieved a 2-1 um, minimum. And it's also preferred for engineering disciplines that master's degrees um, have been achieved. And that's mostly just because it's much easier to work towards chartership within the company um, once you've got a master's degree. So it's sort of, Sellafield feels quite good at pushing people towards chartership and, and um, personal development. So it's, it's um, something that they take quite seriously and they'll, they'll get people chartered quite quickly. Um, salary is £33,000 or just, just above. Um, so that's in line with other graduate schemes. Um, there's a relocation allowance if you're moving. I, I can't remember the distances, but if you're moving away from home to relocate near Sellafield, there's a um, allowance of £1,200, which you don't have to pay back. Um, and then there's an interest-free loan, which is which is really useful if you're paying off student um, overdrafts and things like that, which you then pay back to the company over two years, because I know its student account uh, will close down after a year or so, don't they? So it's a, it's a good way of sort of setting you up with the company. Um, yeah, we, we can have up to £4,000 annual bonus, um, and that's paid in two installments, usually around Christmas and usually around April. Um, and that depends on site performance. So it is it is like a target driven um, bonus. And then the holiday is the same as the industrial placement scheme. It's in line with a lot of other grad schemes. Um, it's 25 and a half day. Yeah, next slide, please. Yeah, so if, if anyone's interested in applying, this is the, the process that I was talking about. Um, so if you look on our careers website for Sellafield, um, You'll, you'll find a lot more information in an application form on there. Um, then you've got to go through an aptitude test, um, which is a normal sort of, as you'd expect for a lot of companies, that kind of aptitude test. Um, a video interview, a well, phone interview usually, a video interview, and then the virtual assessment center. Um, I'm not sure how we're running that this year, um, but it's, a, it's an assessment centre like a lot of other companies with team building exercises and um, uh, sort of men mental um, ch challenges to try and assess what kind of character you are. Um, okay, next slide, please. Yeah, then you'll hear back, hopefully with a, a conditional offer, um, which will say upon receiving a 2-1, um, we'd like to employ you at Sellafield. Then you have to go through, because it's a... a nuclear company you have to go through a number of different checks um, such as security clearance medical checks um, evidence of your degree classification that kind of thing um, all kind of standard stuff really um, and then we'll get back to you if those are all all go well which are most of the time they do um, you get confirmation of your start date yep next slide please yeah so i've just remembering from my uh, first interview with Sellafield, what what the interviewers generally like to do, they're not they're not looking for someone who's an expert on nuclear um, engineering, nuclear science. 
they're looking for someone who's got a key interest to learn and um, someone who can think um, logically about things. So generally it, the interview will be split into two sections. There's a, a personality section where you're um, like a situational awareness kind of section where you're asked questions like, how do you perform in a team? What would you do in this scenario? Um, what would you do if you needed, um, if, if you were overloaded with work and you couldn't handle it all on your own anymore? And they're, they're just looking for you to, how, how you'd go about dealing in those situations. So the best thing to do is just to be honest, because um, if, if you answer the questions honestly, if you're a good fit for the company, you, you won't have to pretend to be someone else. Um, if you answer the questions honestly and you don't get the interview, then maybe it wasn't what you um, maybe it wasn't what you really wanted to do, or maybe you weren't a good fit anyway. So just an answer the questions honestly. Have have a think about how you would really deal with situations like that. Um, and the second part of the um, interview is generally a technical side of the interview. So they, this this applies mostly for science and engineering um, graduates, but they could ask you. Um, a, technical question like um, why do you think we don't use pumps in a nuclear environment and it's sort of just to challenge you and try and help make you think about how you're going to um, just, just just make see, see how your thought process is really um, so if you were to answer that question and say oh it's because it's in a nuclear environment you don't want to go in and do maintenance on those things because you can't send people in um, you, you would install other things that had less maintenance on them. Um, those those kind of questions and answers. Um, and they're just looking for you to be quite a logical thinker. They really don't need to know uh, if you're an expert in the nuclear industry. They, they just want you to be able to think um, logically about things. Um, so, yeah, if I'll, I'll leave my email address at the end for this as well. So if people want to um talk a bit more about the kind of example questions that we have have had in the past and things like that um they can feel feel free to um drop, drop me an email about them yeah if you go to the next slide All right thanks very much um yeah hopefully i can i can pick up a few of your questions now if uh, if anyone's got some I'm not sure about um, PP. I'm assuming that's um, philosophy, politics, and ethics. Um, I'm not sure if there is a position at Sellafield on that degree subject. Um, I'd have to find out for you. Um, yeah, I'd, I'm, I'm really not sure about that one. Um, we, we generally take STEM graduates, engineers, um, architects now as well. Um, but it's, it's generally more technical subjects that we, we take. Um, another question. So um, you'd like to know more. Is there anything in particular that you'd want to know more about? Oh, so I can uh, leave my leave my email address and um, people can get back to me. Um, so I can I can just about see that question. Um, is this a, fi a finance related question? Uh, 
Oh, right, yeah. Uh, yes, yeah, so concentrate on finance. So I am Sellerville has some accounts department. Um, yeah, we do. We do have um, an accounts department. Um, a lot of a lot of our accounts are done through an external company, um, which is a, a resourcing company. Um, but I can I can find out for you about that. I don't know if we take grad, uh, finance graduates specifically um, into those roles, but we do we do have roles in sort of um, human resources. Um, we have business roles as well, like project management roles. Um, we do we do have roles along those um, along those sort of lines, um, but as a specific um, financial grad scheme. Um, I'd have to find out for you. So e I've left my email address in the comments. Um, if you just drop me an email, I'll, I'll find out. Um, I'll find out some more information for you. Yeah, so um, if it's all right, could we go back to the slide with graduate roles? Um, I can just leave it on that slide then for people's information. If uh, if they're just tuning into this, it's probably the most useful slide. Yeah. So mo most of these roles are based up on the Sellerfield site. Um, so a lot of the, the environmental roles, um, project management, a lot of them are up on site. Um, risk and safety case, they're, they're all based up on the Sellerfield site. It's mostly design engineering and, and a few um, project management roles that are down in the Warrington offices. Um, but a lot of our a lot of our industrial placement students like it up on site. There's there's quite a good um, community of graduates, community of industrial placement students. Um, so it's never it's not like moving to the middle of nowhere and you don't know anyone. There's there's a whole group of usually about fifty or sixty of you um, that are all all grouped in together, and it is quite a good um, sort of amount of camaraderie there. Right. Thanks. Um, thanks very much for any questions that you sent through. Oh, there's one more. Uh, okay. Um, if you could, yeah, if you drop me an email, Kelly, if you want more information, um, then I'll I'll try and get back to you with a with a bit more of a, a personalised. Uh, what, what you what you're into really what you need to know no. yeah thanks thanks very much everyone um hopefully i'll see a load of uh applications from people in the near future